um, effective autonomy refers to the freedom to live your life as you wish and to focus on pleasure at any time. Whenever you can do something pleasurable, you can do it. As opposed to embeddedness in which there are rules for pleasure. There are times when pleasure is allowed, types of pleasure that are, allo that, that are allowed and others that are not allowed. Um, all this is regulated much more strictly. For example, when it is time for uh, fasting, if it's the month of, of Ramadan, everybody is expected to, to fast and nobody is allowed to eat in public. There's also one interesting dimension called mastery versus harmony. However, I'm not going to discuss it because it is less well known, less studied. So we can go on to the next topic. Very briefly, I would like to measure the cultural model of Project GLOBE without much detail. This is an important project run in the 90s. The idea of the project was to improve Hofstede's model of culture. Even back then, there were many controversies associated with this model. Some believed in it, others were dissatisfied with it and uh, thought that the model should be improved. Project GLOBE was designed as um, a tool that would improve Hofstede's model of national culture. They studied middle managers from 61 countries in the 1990s. They had about 18,000 respondents, so quite a big sample, not enormous, not as big as Hofstede's or Schwartz's or the samples of the World Value Survey, but still quite respectable. Um, however, their research methods were quite controversial, and as a result, there were many debates in the literature as to what exactly they had done. But there is no doubt that Project GLOBE also discovered major differences between the rich and developing nations. And they're quite similar to the differences described by Hofstede and Schwartz and, and Engelhardt. In all these studies, it turns out that the Western nations are more individualist which means the individual is more independent of the group. At the same time, individual rights are more likely to be respected as opposed to the developing poorest parts of the world where people live in um, so-called in-groups, tribes, extended families, and they're not independent of those uh, in groups, they sometimes have to suppress their wishes and their desires and they have to do what the in-group requires them uh, to do. So there is consensus in terms of these findings.